Hospital doctors and nurses always expect the unexpected. Let's see how they fix our first patient. In Manchester, the emergency department have a new admission. 13-year-old Reese, who's come in with a badly battered face. I damaged my forehead and my nose and my, my lip there. You can say that again. I'm amazed you can even speak. It's hard to smile because my, my lips like falling and I can't move it up. I just keep a straight face, Reese. So how on earth did you end up like that? Well, what happened was, lovely balloons, Reese was celebrating his cousin's birthday party at the local bike park. He was on a half pipe, doing his thing. The crowd were loving it, so he set off for the big one. Uh, that's a steep slope. Nice big stadium, too. No pressure, Reese. He set off, but the slope was so steep, and Reese tried to stop. He pulled on his brake, but he did it too hard, and the next thing he knew, he flew over the handlebars. Oh dear, no more bike. Yep. He went flying through the air until he landed smack on his face. Ouch! Luckily, Reese was wearing a helmet, and his injuries aren't as bad as they look, but it's still pretty uncomfortable. I find it very hard to eat, and I've got my tongue very swollen. Well, there's definitely no chance of getting your mouth around a burger right now, that's for sure. Reese was treated just after the accident, but now he's back in hospital to get his wounds checked out and find out if he'll need any more treatment. And the man doing the finding out is Professor Kevin Mackway-Jones. Well, we need to take the dressings down, have a really good look at his wounds, and make sure they're not infected. Then we need to decide exactly what dressings need to be put on there and whether there's any surgery that needs to be done immediately or whether that can wait for later, if it's needed at all. First things first, Nurse Michael needs to get those dressings off. I'm going to take the dressings off and see what everything looks like underneath. Is that OK? Although it looks nasty, swelling is part of the body's healing process. When you're injured, chemicals are released which cause our blood vessels to widen. This allows more blood and infection-fighting cells to get to the injured area, but some of them leak into the surrounding tissue, causing the whole area to swell up. Just like Reese's lip. So with the dressing off, how's it looking? The one at the top is healing well. Yeah, the one over your nose is healing well. The one up above your lip, OK, that's a little bit deeper. So I think what we need to do is redress it. We'll bring you back to clinic so that we can see how it's doing and we'll make a decision when you come back to clinic next time. Although his nose and forehead can be left dressing free, Reese's lip still needs to be covered. And he'll have to come back in two weeks' time when the swelling's gone down to see if surgery is necessary. I just can't wait to get back to normal because I need to get back eating again. Fingers crossed some decent food will be on the cards soon, mate. We'll be back to find out what happens with Reese's lip later on.